but I think they want to wait until Ohio gets a couple of levels, so it's, it's going to be the mid off lane here from Fnatic. Pretty standard stuff. And then, regardless of how hard Fnatic tried to dodge this matchup, they're still going to have to deal with it. Sanking against Melee is just unbelievably hard to deal with. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it there. Now he's going to go for the strike. If he gets some caustic, caustic bumps, why not be necessary? Which is still level one. Arcel's right there and take yeah. it. Okay, they made their move. There, there it is. Exhibit A for the Kunkka setup right now. But they do have Sunika who rotates in, offers off his own health, and with the spirit power going on through, they're going to be able to take down the Skyrath Mage. Can they make it a two for nil trade? DJ says, I will drop this whole title, and you're not going to be able to make it past. But he runs right into trouble with Ditya Ra, who's got all the power coming out, and will easily be able to take him down. Navi off to a hot start, 3 0. Man, Sunika got just always in the right spot at the right time. Without him, General definitely dies there. Either holding on to skill points or he is... No, he's holding points for sure. Because he has an appeal, so that's why he has extra stats. A little, little bit interesting. But, um... Barry just, uh, Radiant's in his own world, taking the creeps down the top lane. Mushi, who may not know it, is surrounded. Our style, he's coming in. The Bloodhounds are out. Can Mushi find his way out from this one? Oh, he's got one level one timber chain. He just gets right to the front of our style here. Turns the corner. 343 looks to come in and intercept. Trying to go for Dendi here. Dendi's gonna burrow strike in, and now General shows up, makes it a three on two. The stuns come crashing forward. 343 th three, is gonna go down. Mushi says, I'll at least get that one kill before my own life goes down. And that will be the end of it there. It looks like it turns into a two for two trade. As they also get art style. The creeps. Gonna be uh, sprouted up here. He can't seem to make it past this ridiculous army. Doubles back to go for General instead. General trying to flip his way out. Will be able to make it away. Missed the stomp, so DJ will not get locked down, and he could safely make it back to the tower, but he says, I'll take that Centaur life first. Thank you. And this is the most action factor of the game we've had all series. Dyer's Both teams are just getting involved in this bottom lane pretty much. Yeah. They won a battle for sure. And I mean, that's tough, is they have a lot of ways they can play. They have a lot of movement presence. Okay, and the center is going to be a little bit wasted here. And then he and I will get a big target. Our style will be going down. Mushi crushes him in, and now look at the follow-up. Navi will respond, taking down 3 4 3 Mushi's thinking about kind of moving for Dendi here first. Now very low. Dendi trying to head to the tower and away from Sumiko. He goes down. And now Dendi Rock comes in from that same tower. Is able to truck on board. They will take Mushi down. Turns into now a three for two. Triple kill for General. As he's able to kind of clean it up on the back of his nature Prophet. Suddenly a wild mid one. Weaver shows up from the top lane. And he's looking to go for a cleanup on Sonico in the back line. Can he get it away? Woo! Tries to make it oh, back no. it out. Oh, the like he might be able to make it away. He is juking and driving around. And Midwan says, you know what? Forget it. Tries to run away instead, but Sonico oh. hits him with a spirit ball, and they get the last right click. Oh, it goes oh my back to worse for Fnatic. Oh, my God. Okay, so the whole premise of that fight seemed a little bit weird to me, because they're... Okay, when you're playing against Spear and a Wisp, you kind of want to engage onto those two heroes unless you have a good counter initiation for the relocate, which I would say Fnatic don't really except for the fact that he does damage. And speaking of damage, goodbye. Mushki dead, thinking he can man up there against Dijara, but he's got plenty of help nearby. Yeah, it's only nine minutes in, but I feel like it's been going on forever, and he's just been a tirade that's been kind of tough to deal with here, so... Navi oh. making a good track of the tempo of their game, and it looks like they've been spotted out in Ohio here, who's just trying to simply farm his way back into the game. And he's dead now. Epicenter will be committed for it, but that means they don't have to worry about the roar here when they engage in this top for Tier 1. And he's almost got Blink, too. Sound like 6 central way. They might get our style, though. He's got a lot of creeps with him. This one needs to avoid all those creeps, though. Gets netted down. He gets oh. he will. He'll go down trying to catch the Chen here. That was so nicely done, actually. So is she gonna burn? Yep. See ya. Okay. And it picks up that one too. 14 to 4. It ain't gonna get any easier for Fnatic, because now they've spotted out 3.3, but after the burrow, he will be able to TP away. Oh, it's done, and we're smoked. Well, we better get out of here. <laughs> Time to bail, boys. We don't know where to go. Half of them are heading north, another half heading south. Still behind Navi. DJ's been spotted, so Navi thinks they can make a move for that. And then they also spot out the 3-4-2 Skyrim main. They're really taking care of it. DJ's got to frantically dish out the boat, but then he'll get pounced on. Oh, it's Fnatic, unfortunately, just getting spotted out right after the conclusion of this Roche, and Navi just kind of clearing them out here. They got one. They did get one. The Beastmaster, who had uh, headed south, got his own kill. Yeah. I think you actually kind of hit the nail on the head with one of the biggest issues. Much time spent, like, split pushing and whatnot. Ohio also going to get hit. Navi covering split pushers from both sides of the globe on this one. Honestly, like, 
Huh. Then he might be in some trouble here. That was not the burrow. No, oh, but then just like that, suddenly. <laughs> oh, JK. Two people come in and it's a three on one. What started as a one on one where Mushi was winning turned into a three on one where Nami will easily clean it up. Dude, this is. You know that the game is really bad when the net worth is separated by color. Oh, I thought he just kindly organized that for us, Rascal. No, no, no. That, that's. That's. We're having a bad time right oh, now. Oh, yeah, that is. This is turning into a shutdown, pretty much, with the net worth all belonging to Navi on this one. Uh, they might lose some people here. Fnatic could get a pretty forgiving net worth swing if this uh, Navi squad can't kind of recollect at this point. It looks like Denny will commit in once more to look for Central Ohio. Boat does fly. The run should help mitigate the damage. so tanky. Fnatic, but yeah, it's just too much to tank through. Did one even with the help of the boat? Looks like he's been brought to pretty low. This tries to make it away. DJ gets bursted down, and General is going to grab the double kill in the back end of this one. Fnatic lose three, and they throw in the towel. Nami will take our first best of three of the Star Series. Oh, yeah. So it was uh, the last time they, they met up, it was the exact same result, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exact same result. So. I think that this game pretty much just from the get-go was all Navi. You know, they get the kill on Mushi very early on because he was on level 2, didn't have Temper Chain. The lanes from Fnatic felt impossible to win, right? Because you have this Temper Stop against that King we talked about during the draft that you didn't even want that matchup in the first place, and that's why Mushi didn't go mid. And then you have like this Huskar plus uh, Io mid against a Beastmaster. Like, Beastmaster can't do anything in that lane. And then top, okay, we're getting some farm on mid one, but he was... I would say he didn't get a single kill, not an assist or a kill. He was just never there.